GCSE Simultaneous Equations Algebraic Method Solve the Simultaneous Equations two x plus y equals five. x minus y equals 1. Okay, when solving simultaneous equations, the first thing you should do is label the two equations. The first equation with the number 1 and the second equation with 2. Remembering to circle the numbers. Okay, the algebraic method is to try and eliminate one of the variables and the way we eliminate it depends on what we have in each equation so the best one to eliminate in this case is y so eliminate y to do that if we have a look at what y is in both equations in the first equation y is positive. In the second equation, y is negative. So, there is one y in each equation. So, if we add the two equations, y plus minus y will equal 0. So, therefore, 1 plus 2 will give you 2x plus y plus x minus y on the left hand side of the two equations and on the right hand side you will get 5 plus 1. You can see now y plus minus y will cancel so you end up with altogether 3x. So 3x then equals 6 x will then equal 6 divided by 3 x equals 2 so, having worked out the value of x, we can now find the value of y by substituting this value of x into one of the equations. So, let's put x is equal to 2 into equation 1. So, we get the following situation. 2 times... 2 plus y equals 5. So 4 plus y equals 5. Therefore, y will equal 5 minus 4, y is equal to 1. So we have now worked out the value of x and the value of y. As a check, we can substitute these two values into an independent equation so we put it back into equation 2 so as a check put x is equal to 2 y is equal to 1 into 2 so we get 2 minus 1 equals 1 which equals the right hand side of equation 2. Therefore, checks. Graphical method for solving simultaneous equations. Let's remind ourselves of the two equations we had. 2x plus y equals 5, x minus y equals 1. Now, before we can solve simultaneous equations graphically, we will need to draw the graphs of these two equations. So, in order to do that, we need a couple of points on each line, and we put those points onto a grid. So let's work out the two points for each line first. 
So, taking the first equation, 2x plus y equals 5. When x equals 0, y will equal 5. And when x equals 3, y will equal minus 1. OK, let's continue and get a couple of points on the second line. So, when x equals 0, y will equal minus 1. And when x equals 5, y will equal 4. OK, having got two points for each line, we now put these coordinates onto the grid. So, for the first equation, when x equals 0, y equals 5, there's a point over here. And when x equals 3, y equals minus 1, so there's a point over here. We connect these points now with a straight line. So, that's our first line. Labeling it. We now draw our second line <coughs> using the two points that we worked out. When x equals 0, y is equal to minus 1, there's a point over here. And when x equals 5, y is equal to 4, there's a point over here. Now we connect these two points with a straight line. And we get this line. Labeling it x minus y equals 1. Now, graphically, the solution of simultaneous equations is very simply found by the intersection of the two lines. So, looking at the two lines that we've got, the lines intersect at this point. And as you can see, at this point, x is equal to 2, y is equal to 1, which is what we would expect and tallies with what we got with solving the equations algebraically. 